Well, you know, you've probably seen this video by now. Two Texas high school football players targeting a referee after he ejected teammates from the game. Well, the boys are now off the team and suspended from school, and now the ref is pressing criminal charges against them. But just today, the school said the boys accused the ref of using racial slurs, and they say an assistant coach encouraged them to retaliate. Well, as you can see in that videotape there, one of the players rammed the referee from behind. The other jumped on top of him, leading with his helmet. So this whole issue brings to light the potential violence that can happen in what is supposed to be a display of sportsmanship. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Brilliant today talked with coaches, players, and a referee about an incident that many believe now was no accident. Football is a huge part of Tristan Shelley's life. Watching film, going home, watching film, going to practice for three hours. But the Mooresville senior wouldn't have it any other way. You can't imagine a player intentionally attacking a referee. Absolutely not. If you, especially if you're a good player and you have a future ahead of you, there's no point in really, there's no point in doing that and ruining your whole career, your whole future. The two players at John Jay High School in Texas have been suspended from the team and they could face criminal charges. It was hard to see and it's hard for me to see as a coach from the aspect that I don't want our players to see actions like that. But at Mooresville High School, the team will use what happened in Texas as a teachable moment. To talk to our kids about staying grounded and learn how to control your emotions and deal with adversity during a game. At John Jay, the attack was apparently retribution after two players had been ejected. I sat down and watched it yesterday and it was just, I mean, it was just unbelievable. As a referee of high school football, Brad Prather has seen a lot in 23 seasons, but never an intentional hit. He understands the desire of kids to win. And parents and coaches and, and, and schools and, um, you know, but at the end of the day, um, I mean, it's not worth doing something like that. I mean, it's just, I, there's just no excuse for, for that. Lessons of good sportsmanship from the field that translate into being a decent person. This is life. You're dealing with a lot of different things that you're going to deal with in life. And we talk about it in practice. We talk about it in our meetings that you've got to learn how to control yourself. You can't get too high with the highs or too low with the lows. And According to the Indiana High School Athletic Association commissioner, there's never been a case where a Hoosier athlete has attacked an official. But there are policies and procedures in place so that if that did happen, that athlete would be dealt with swiftly. I'm Jeremy Brilliant reporting. Now back to you. All right. Thank you, Jeremy Brilliant reporting tonight.